Hello again. Good kitten. Um, still don't have a kitten up there. Really. One point. There, now you see a kitten. That's just a soon perch on top of my Um, you also get more to drink. I can feel my throat break. Yes. Not intending to record another video today, but I am going to lose track of where in the world I am if I don't. Making sure there's no like secret anything in here. Because this is getting ridiculous. Like, you know, places to bomb, stuff like that. I don't remember this dungeon being this difficult. Or remember this dungeon at all for that matter. Monsters beating a fire in a volcano. Great job, game. Mm, he's a little tilted, I just noticed. But that could just be expected. Okay. What is over here? Did I go over here? I think I might have just not gone this way. That would be hilarious. This is actually what I'm in. This must be go to. Uh, certainly looks that way. Take that. Rough losing. One of either Tim or Loka when I get to the next character. Which might be this video, actually. It is possible that it will be this video. Either this video or next. Because the dungeon after this one is the one where I get the next character. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Multiple treasure chests. Mm. I'll have to find my way. Point. Take one to indicate that I have gone in there. Okay. Back tracking the treasure chest. Very very nice. No other treasure chest in here. Here we are. Ah. Uh. Apparently, I just needed to take like a five second break that I actually ended up taking. Or the break to move lighting situation to be able to record TV. I was surprised! Oh no! Okay. This is bothering me. We're seeing more and more enemies that are using magic resistance instead of defense. I'm wondering if. They just kind of made most enemies use magic attacks. Most likely open a new path. Boom! Here we are. This room I remember. You puny little being! Disappear! Get out of my sight! This is no place for inferior beings. Who are you? 
I am the ruler of this land. Legendary wings who rend the sky. Uh, you can't possibly. Are, are, are you starting? Lumbar Diva. Yep. Transformer robots in disguise. Or dragons in disguise, I should say. It has been years since I have spoken to humans like this. Of course, it appears there are a few non-humans among you as well. A few. I know what dragons can speak. Humans believe they are the only intelligent beings around. No, we've seen lots of intelligent beings, thank you very much. Well, I don't think Liz and Nard are intelligent, but whatever. Oh, sorry. Our being able to converse will sure speed things up. Uh, Lombardia, but that is currently being eaten. Uh, it's getting consumed by a parallel universe, right? Uh, yeah, how did you know that? Everything, absolutely everything, is exactly the same as before. It is the same as when the dragon dimension we lived in was Dragon Dimension. Remember in Wild Arms 1, the Elu had the Elu Dimension? Apparently dragons also have their own dimension. The dragon Dimension? Oh, I've never heard of this. We dragons with being are beings with mechanical bodies. Do you remember what life from metal is from Wild Arms 1? Dragons are demons. Our homeland was originally a different universe. And our world was swallowed in a wave of consumption and many were lost forever. A few who were able to change dimensions arrived but simply couldn't adapt to simply lost their way. Sorry, I put the word simply in the wrong spot. Then, wanna give us a hand, Lombardia? Because we do. We're fighting to stop that thing. No, I refuse. Uh, what? For what reason? No one can stop the consumption of the world. Much less, less human. Human beings. I use the word like a lot of Well, even so, we can't give up. That was a weird placing up episode. You only have the smallest chance. But, you mean there's a chance? Sorry. But it's a chance close to zero. Just a matter of effort, and that can always grow. Right? In other words, that's right. We want your help. Oh, very well. Wait, what? But I have one. I want to witness with my own eyes how our human struggle begins. Struggling to overcome odds. Also, I forgot to use human like I have been saying. That's right. We need to get to go fight a dragon. The team looks unimpressed. We really didn't need the um, silhouette thing for Dragon Caliper Lombardia because we just saw him. Just saying. Humai, show me your power. I think this one's worth using a lucky card on? Yeah, definitely worth using a lucky card. If I see a glimmer of possibility, ignite your strength. You may use my wings. This is a really easy fight. Like, Grubbine is strictly stronger than us. 
Seriously? I, I think normal enemies do more damage than that at this point. I don't think that's worth healing. Regular heal, I guess? And you know what? I'm having Tim attack. He needs a little bit more horsepower. Seriously, they're hitting for about as much as... He's using a magical attack. Cool. This is why Cannon's not very good. Her magic defense is so terrible. Favor. Valkyrie. We haven't seen Valkyrie yet. Boom. Didn't know dragons could speak. Valkyrie looks a lot like... Wild Arms 1 Valkyrie, except it does less damage, and I don't quite understand why. But it hits everybody. Okay. It wasn't all that much damage. Really, Logan's the one doing all the damage right now. Sure, I'll first aid. Why not? all around. Ooh, full carry. Nice. Why, hang on. Why, hold on. I am Lombardia. No matter what powers you display, they'll never be me. But why? Why? Time for the part of the game where everybody has hope. Reach. There's still some distance remaining. I won't give up. I gave up so easily, Sis would laugh at me. Earth's energy is heating up rapidly. And one, consequence, one consequence of the battle is the dormant volcanoes is now active. That's really hard for me to say in this accent. Escape. Holy... Lombardia. We have a transformer now, so everything's fine. Meow. The truth about the encroachment on the guy is that it started with the wanderings of the dragons, as told by the dragon caliber Lombardia. That's right! The reason why the parallel universe is encroaching is because they followed Lombardia. Different from all in this world are dragons, living beings with mechanical bodies from another world, the dragon dimension. But our world was swallowed in the encroachment, and many friends were lost forever. I assume this is Bombardia supposed to be speaking? I don't know, he just said that. No matter how powerful dragons may be, they're powerless against a conceptual being called the world. I have no control, by the way. Those few who can cross dimensions land in the parallel universe, starting at Pogaya. Most couldn't release their powers in a new environment and rotted away. But was though we just heard all of this. The dragons are one of the life forms being swallowed up by the encroaching parallel universe. Although it looks like that dragon's missing teeth. And you're just it's just trying to gum thing. 
According to the information from Lavadia, the encroaching parallel universe comes from the Hyperbelt, the birthplace of comets, the bearers of all the Romans. That's right. We are fighting the Kuiper Belt. I will have Oms aid me in plans against the Kuiper Belt. This will pack be no use at all. What will we do? My first clue is actually Ashley. Mm -hmm. Our world can be seen as a giant life, and physical methods cannot affect something as shapeless as life itself, but if there is a vessel to contain such life, then we may be able to combat it. Just as with Ashley, we must trap the world in something. But how? Hmm. I have an idea. Mana is released at the terminals of Rama. It's the right point. Okay, this is where it's obvious that the translation is supposed to be Rayline and not Raline. Mana is the life energy of Vilgaia. We shove shape the mana into an artificial life form. We can trap the encroachment inside of it. The Piper Belt will then live in the trapezohedron, the prison crafted of mana. So we will give the root of encroachment a mortal conception. There's not a moment to lose. We require all of our strength to exterminate the Piper Belt. That's why we're going to completely ignore it immediately. We must seek out the four ray points scattered across Fogaya. The goal of this mission is to set them free. Use clues in the various places to free the ray points. The future of Fogaya is resting on your shoulders. This is the point of the game where we have full control over everything. There is no place left that we cannot go, which is the reason why we are immediately going after our final character. Because we can. There's no reason for us to hold off. This is the Lombardia theme. Oh yeah, Lombardia cannot land anywhere that you can't walk. You also can't land in a forest. So it's basically the same restrictions that the Proto Wing had. And you'll notice that the Valeria Chateau is now parked again, because we will never be using the Valeria Chateau again. Um, so first off, we are going up to Galad. Because where we need to go is south of Galad. However, I will probably be grabbing some of these dots on the way. And you notice that this is a forest. I can't land here. By the way, that's where the final dungeon is. Oh, this is green. I don't want to go in here. Lucky card. Or respite. Always helpful. And if I never end up using them. Alright. You what I'm looking for or is it the other one? Yep, this is what we're looking for. We've had lots of hints about this already, by the way. Ashley doesn't have forgetfulness, crap. Uh, 
saving the exit. I need to make sure Ashley has forgetfulness before I come here. All right, we have one more thing going through Silverland Castle. One more time to give him forgetfulness, and then we'll never have to worry about it again. And I can actually use each of the characters, and we can finish up all of the Let's Analyzes, or almost all of them. Loka actually still has one more ability left. By the way, what are your thoughts about Wild Arms 2 so far? Because you've seen most of the plot, and there's been enough hints where you might be able to figure out the rest of the plot at this point. There is still a twist remaining. I should mention that. But there's enough information... Well, no. There's not enough information yet to point out exactly what the twist is. But there's enough information to start giving hints about what might be going on in the background. What do you think? Those of you who have not played Wild Arms 2. Also, the person who constantly comments about, you know, having him at level 63 or something like that, now that I'm done with Lombardia, what are you going to comment about now? I was fine. All I had to do was deal with one attack, which I can defend against, and that's it. Seriously. Just hit Ashley already with Amnesia. I said hit him, not miss him. just in case apparently I need to do that. Thank you! That's all I was asking you to do. Now all of you get to go die in a fire for wasting my time. One more fire. That's not gonna happen anyway. Die in a fire! Formation, Ashley, get your posterior in the back. Lombardia, we're going flying again. I remember there was a blinking thing that I found before. Like, right on the edge, and I couldn't actually reach it before. Here. Nice. I can obtain those as much as I want now, but, you know. I know what that green fluff is, by the way. Or respite. I guess I could go there. It's in the same zone as the... There it is. Elven boots. Wait, don't I already have a pair of those? Yep. Now I have two of them. Two-thirds chance of surprise. I mean...
That one's actually accessible by... Hmm. Actually, not the one that I thought it was. Alright, let's go in here. Enough dilly dallying around, let's get our final character. And then we're going to have to grind like hell. in this dungeon, by the way. So our objective is to basically get through this place. Um, we can always get loot later if we really felt like it. And that's not necessarily a bad idea to rush this dungeon. But I want shiny. Also, I remember nothing about where I need to go in this dungeon. Well, that's the wrong way at the moment. What kind of enemies do we have in here? We have Barney and a Body Snatcher. But Barney. They drop Himmel coins. Nice. And body snatchers, I can steal tiny flowers from them. Nice. Darn. Hopefully the clock in first. Oh. Well, at least now I know where I can get tiny flowers. Although I think I'm not too far off of being able to just buy them. No, I wouldn't be, because Black Market is just required me to have this character that I'm going to be like. Is there something else up in here? Yeah. Um, Alright, the loot. Or respite. Can I puka this? Really don't want to fall twice. Yeah, nice. Go back through the main loop again. It's also indecipherable. Yep. We'll be able to read them when we pick up the last character, by the way. And I think everybody watching this has figured out who the last character is at this point. Uh, we have, in fact, the character's name, and we have seen the character multiple times. Barney! Oh yeah, what did they divide you into? I'm just curious. Uh, Saber is going to be our answer to almost everything for the rest of the game. Wilco's in our party. Because Saber kills enemies dead. Grab all up. Cool.
And we went all the way back to the start. Nope. Not where I wanted to go. I still have loot to pick up after all. Lots of war respites. By the way, I've, again, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of guessing. Because this place is huge. I had plans for today. Those plans are apparently playing this game repeatedly because it's most of the day's gone already. I need to do a cleanup of kitty rooms and get ready for garbage and maybe actually play something else. Maybe more Sunset Overdrive, although I have the stupid Tower Defense thing to deal with. Uh, I mean, it's weird. I like Tower Defense games, I just don't like 3D one. And this is absolutely a free, uh, especially mini me 3D Tower Defense. Those are always the worst. Switch on the other side. I mean, I know how to get to the switch on the other side. Is there a switch in here? No. I obviously need to click more war respite. Why did I cancel that? Not like I have any more guardians at the moment. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting those a bit later. Back to that one. Too. As mentioned, I'm kind of just guessing as to where to go. I really don't know. Just got one more switch. I didn't realize there was a third switch. Darn it. fairly good with spatial awareness because I kind of have a mental map that's the way this cast is working. And this one doesn't have any like tricks like teleporters or falling roofs or oops, falling floors or anything like that. It's just annoying. I could probably just literally draw this place out. There's the third one. Should have just continued a little further, apparently. This one is a trap at the moment. This is the way I organize that. Looking faster if I come in the way around, but oh well. This one. Back up through here. Not that one, but this one. Across. Then down. Down the stairs. Through the door, then around over. I surprised them. 
Oh no, I surprised Barney! Things are just not doing anything at this point. Darkness this path does lead. He who is from the land of the sun must leave if life to him is dear. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Have you figured out who this character is or what this character is? Fool! Mistake not foolhardiness for bravery. Know thou art thou art headed down the path to darkness. King of the Dark World has ruled Gaia from time and more. We have all of the evidence as to what's going on at this point. All of it. Are you ready? Get the noise down. Where do you think you are? It's Maribel! Ah, actually in company. I didn't know you were making that noise. So, what brings you here? Surely the time of promise has not yet come. Uh, uh, hey, what's Maribel doing here? This is where I heard the legendary immortal systems. We are the Immortals, the Crimson Gnome, supreme species of Dogaya. We are the absolute, true, one and only rulers of Dogaya. Oh, brother, what a wee bag. I never knew the Crimson Noble really existed. Well, Legendary Lord Blazer's living inside of Ashley. Is the idea of Crimson Nobles still living in Dogaya any weirder? ken has got a point there. Well, what do you want, Ashley? Clearly, you did not come to pass. As you say, the time of promise is not yet come. But Vilgaia now faces the most serious threat in its history. Yes, Zakai Dodo. Not even Lord Blazer could stand up to the might of the Piper Bell. That's why I need you to fight on our side, Maribel, as you were as you once fought with Anastasia. So he was the very, uh, she, we actually saw her during the opening introduction to Ashley. That is how far back we have actually been engaging with the final character of our party. Because Maribel is the final character of our party. We're fighting to save Pilgaia. Will you join us? Hmm... First the Dissa, now then the Kaiba Belt. Why must such evil attack on the other Vilgaia? As Vilgaia's true rulers, we will not tolerate no more. We will tolerate no more of this. I am putting my foot down now. But I'll have you know, I'm only doing this because it's my duty as the supreme species to protect Vilgaia, not out of any duties of friendship, Baka. We simply have a common objective, otherwise a proud Crimson Noble. Never help you, lowly humans. Do not forget that! Oh, oh, almost forgot. Oh, I almost forgot this. Cool, Electel acquired. This Electel zaps anyone in front of you when you press the square button. Welcome, Maravel Armitage. That's our final character. We have everybody. We no longer have to care about Ashley's levels. We're done. We are done with having to deal with that. And Maribel has next to no noise. So the very first thing that we need to do is teleport the hell out of here and go to a town. 
uh, did give her everything that we ever want her to have. And then, the very long road to actually getting her abilities. Maryville is an optional character preference. Except not. Uh, the game does actually require you to have all of the characters. Sort of. I think. I'm pretty sure Maryville's required. Also, I love how she runs. It's hilarious. Sorry. Personal skills. So, Maryville 17, unfortunately. I'm going to leave up parameters off at the moment because I'm going to use Maribel for um, a Let's Analyze on that. Wait. Crap. I wanted to test with and without up HP. I mean, I guess I could reload cannon save, but one moment I'm gonna figure out how far back my save state is at the entrance to the castle. All right, we are not going to do that. We will end up just reloading the save. It's fine. Uh, menu, undo load state. This is why I did it the way I did. All right. Second lane. Welcome to the party, Ashley Winchester. You're no longer forgetful, and we're letting you gain XP. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to keep Maribel in the back for a long time. We're actually going to be grinding a bit in order to get her up. Um, so, her stats are weird. You notice how high her APP is by comparison to her strength? That's because she only has hob and knob for equipment. That is the only equipment she gets for a weapon in the entire game. She gets upgrades to her weapon instead. And yeah, so her attack is, well, probably better than Ashley's now that I think about it. Yeah, her attack's actually higher than Ashley's. Uh, she's going to be lacking about 590 hit points compared to Ashley right now. I don't know how that compares overall, but it's something. Um, there's way more sorcery. Well, not really way more. It's only it's, it's only seven more. Oh, that's right. We actually increased Ashley's sorcery by using sorcery apples on him. That's right. I remember now. Um. Yeah, I think the next video that I do is just going to be trying to get a lot of Maribel's abilities. So, for reference, Maribel's a blue mage, a uh, Final Fantasy style blue mage. I'm actually one moment. I'm be right back. And I'm back. Sorry about that. I um, had to take an emergency bio break, and it soon is just came up to visit me. So, as I was saying, uh, Mirafal is a red mage, uh, by Final Fantasy standards, which is to say that she learns abilities, in her case, by using Skill Drain, which is something that you have to target on a monster, and you use it, and you gain their ability. She also starts with one which is just a Life Drain ability, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but yeah, um, there's a lot of red powers. A lot. I'm probably going to be dedicating an entire video or two to gain them. Um, it's going to be raw. Because I've never actually tried to gain all of Maribel's powers. Because I've never completed the uh, monster album. I mean, look at how much they're still here. And we are way over the halfway point of the game. In fact, I think we have five or six quests required left in the game.
So yeah, that's a thing. But I'm going to be heading out to other places first. Um, this is the point of the game where I'm going to ignore mainline plot entirely. Um, I would like to go to the Odd Headquarters. Is that a place I can actually teleport to? Yes, it is. There's a couple of dungeons that we can actually go back to now that we have Maravil's skill. Or, tool. And look at that handsome boy. But this is the one I remember right off the top of my head. So remember that there was a little machine blocking our way to go any further down. Welcome to the black market! That's what the ability looks like, by the way. Welcome to the black market. This place is interesting. We're lacking in several abilities to be able to do anything more other than nice of you to drop by. We handle rare items you cannot find in other stores. Want to take a look around? We can finally buy healing items. More importantly, we can buy mini carrots. Just max that out now. Uh, honestly, max that out too. Um, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Come back anytime, okay? So this requires a whole bunch of different tools, and we're lacking in two very important ones. One, we are going to be getting a tool that converts those crystals into platforms, and two, we need to have the ability to go through a fence. We have neither one of those right now. Um, one of those is a Lilka's final tool, the other one is um, Tim's final tool. Name changer. Paralyzed. Does that mean you react to the other ones? Whoa. It's hot. It's cold. Ah. Yeah. No reaction to that for obvious reasons. Ouch. No, you don't react to the blades either. Anyway, just wanted to do that. Um, hmm, what else can I do with Marivel right now? Slightly early to end the video. Um, let's see. Actually, let's go to the final town of the game. Or I should say the first town of the game. Because so we've been there. It's the town that Loka was at, because you've noticed we have not actually gone back there yet. All we actually needed was this dragon right here. Um, actually right here. It's on radar. Two things on radar, in fact. I think that one's the town. Yeah. Welcome to Palace Village. Welcome back to Palace Village, I should say. I don't know anything about a, any ray point, but the village elder might know. Crest sorcery. I think I'm already maxed out on crest crafts, yeah. Ooh. Also known as Armsmeister. We have a lot of arms that we can upgrade. Um, and we need to figure out the best ways to upgrade them, too. That's going to take a bit. Cause of the weird sky? 
the old lady says it's a curse, but I think God is jealous of me being for being so pretty. Centered, are we? I know what's going on. The curse they use to get the monsters out of the fields is what's making the sky weird. Nope. Oh, hello, it's me. Don't you remember? You keep your promise and say you'd be back like you said. I'm so happy. Be even happier if the sky wasn't so weird right now. Can you say anything different to somebody else? This is Palace Village. A young girl who knew magic came to help us. This place. Ah. Uh. Good to see you again. Thanks for all that you did. You really saved us all. Did you come to see him? He's probably outside. I told him not to go outside because of the strange guy, but he just won't listen. Runes to the north is the right point. We're not doing that yet. We have oh so many things to do, I think. I don't know. My memory is really sketchy in this area of the game. The sky turned weird, but, you know, it's a thing. Well, well, if it isn't the magic girl. Flame is worshipped to the north, so that's right point flame. This is where Loco teleported in at. This is back outside, okay. Doesn't anyone care about me? Personal skills. Weapon shop. The final weapon shop. Staff. Notice that there's no equipment for Maryville. <sighs> Let's see, what else is here that we can do? I think this is probably going to be about it. Monsters increasing because of the sky darkened. Who would have thought? Almost as though this is the end area of the game. We're basically at the end of the game at this point. There's not really a whole bunch else to do. Ah, yes, the grain supply. Pretty much it. Yeah, I think I'll just call it here. This is good enough to an hour. Close enough to an hour. So I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and we are no longer needing to low-level Ashley. Um, still need to figure out the best way of handling everything else, so we'll see. I'll talk to you next time, internet. Bye!